And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking south towards downtown Lethbridge there about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, a little cloudy today. Mostly cloudy right now is what we're calling it. Six degrees is where we're at. We got down to minus six at 1 a.m. And we hit nine degrees was our daytime high. And we hit that at 10 a.m. Temperatures all over. Still looking pretty healthy considering we have uh, an Arctic air mass that's going to be sliding into southern Alberta, cooling us right off. But right now, looking at those positive numbers in a great pocket of area here in the uh, in the southern area of the province to the west of the Continental Divide. Temperatures not bad either, but here's where the heavy snowfall warnings and winter storm warnings are out. The Kootenai Park area, um, still a bit of the East Columbia area, and then that is going to move across into Alberta. We've already got warnings out for the Banff area and Kananaskis. They have been taken down for the Jasper Park area, so that's all that collective white area that you saw there. The flow, the massive flow out of the south is actually being compressed by another low pressure center and that's where the warnings are situated right now and that's what is going to be tracking across into areas like Edson and Edmonton and giving snowfall they are not in warning criteria right now but they will be seeing some snowfall we'll be seeing snowfall here in the south as well but right now the real active weather is right along that continental divide Banff area not that Jasper isn't still seeing some snow they are but they're just not in warning criteria right now so that's the way it's set up we have rain snow combination and we were talking about this yesterday with the avalanche situation. The rain does not help the situation there at all and we will be still seeing pockets of rainfall. Heavy snowfall warnings are also out south of the border with that compression of that flow of precipitation. Areas in Idaho and Montana, even northern Nevada are in uh, winter storm watch or warning criteria right now. So that's where the heavier amounts are going to actually be to the south of the border. We've got winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings out for a large area of Atlantic Canada right now. Things are fairly quiet through the Maritimes sun and cloud mix, some flurries, some rain showers even through southern Quebec and into southern Ontario right now. Through the Winnipeg area, pretty quiet right now, but that flow of precipitation is eventually going to affect Regina and Saskatoon will be getting snow tomorrow. Winnipeg will be getting snow on Friday from that flow. We've got still nice temperatures on the coast. Vancouver, cloudy skies with some showers right now, 7 degrees. And then take a look at that number in Yellowknife. Minus 34, but it's minus 45 right now there with the wind chill. So it's always colder somewhere else. East Kootenai, you're looking at an overnight low of minus 7 degrees. That chance of flurries tonight down to minus 7, as I said. And then some flurries expected tomorrow, minus 5 for a daytime high for you. For the Crow's Nest Pass, periods of snow starting tonight down to minus 11. Tomorrow, 2 to 4 centimeters of snow during the day. Minus 10, dropping to minus 15 by the afternoon. Medicine Hat, flurries developing late tonight, minus 10 for for a low light snow developing tomorrow, minus 9 for a high dropping to minus 13 by the afternoon. And here in Lethbridge, we're looking at light snow developing before dawn, minus 9 for a low, 2 to 4 centimeters during the day tomorrow, minus 8 dropping to minus 14 in the afternoon, and then another 2 to 4 centimeters tomorrow night. And then Friday, sun and cloud mix by the afternoon, but still with some leftover morning snow showers, so be aware of that on Friday. Saturday, we have a clearing out trend, minus 6 for a daytime high. And then on Sunday, another chance for some flurry activity. And then Monday, it looks like uh, sun and cloud mix and uh, temperature still on the cool side. Tuesday, plus 1. We're going to pop into positive numbers finally after this chilly break that we're going to have. Now, if you are feeling ill, we just saw the story on all the flu that is going around uh, the country, you want to avoid sugar. And sugar can be hidden in a variety of foods, including white bread and various other things. Read your labels. Sugar really robs your immune system of the strength it needs to battle the flu. So cut out sugar if you're feeling ill. And that's our Live Better tip for this week. Have a good evening, everyone.